What's up guys welcome back to yet another video so finally oneplus have started rolling out stable build of oxygen os 13 for oneplus 9 and 9 pro in this video we'll talk about the stable build for these two phones and we'll also tell you guys how to install it so without wasting any more time let's get started so here i have my oneplus 9 on which i have already installed the stable build of oxygen os 13 let me show you the about section and the software information so if you go to about section here you can see now it says official version which is the stable one and if you go to android version android version is 13 which comes with 5th october 2022 security patch and the build number is f.16 and guys it's a stage rollout so it might take some time to receive it on your device if you want to update your device immediately for those who haven't received it via over the air they can just download the beta 2 and update your device to stable build i was already running beta 2 and i got the ota update Update. let me show you the update size so here you can see over beta 2 the update size was 571 mb for my oneplus 9 i'll try to provide the files in the description below soon they are available right now they are not available but as soon as i get hands on the files i'll update you guys the link in the description below once you have the links or you have downloaded the file you just have to place the file inside the internal storage and then perform a local upgrade and local upgrade can also be performed you just have to go to about section first you need to tap on the version then build number seven times until you see you are a developer now after that just go back tap on the update section tap on these three dots and you'll see a local install option you won't see this until unless you enable developer options so make sure to enable it and now guys before moving ahead let's keep a like target of 500 likes on this video and we are 600 away from 100k and you guys can help us achieve this target in this upcoming week so make sure to subscribe our channel and now first let's talk about the benchmark results so here we did benchmark testing with high performance mode in which single course code double one one nine and multi course code 3230 but i did notice bit of throttling issues while performing the cpu throttling test here you can see maximum cpu only throttled up to 81 percent and the graph was also not completely green and guys we'll not be discussing all the features what you guys gonna see on oxygen os 13 because we have made a dedicated video on features so all the videos can be found in the description below i'll list down every video related to oxygen os in the description below let me show you the change logs first so if you go to about section tapping here tapping on about this version so these are the change logs which are related to system and application first one they say they have integrated october security patch which i've already shown you later they have improved the system stability and other stuff that we'll get to know once we start using the device as a primary phone very soon i'll be coming up with a review i've recently released the review of beta 2 based on oxygen os 13 next week monday or tuesday i'll release the review of stable build of oxygen os 13 and later they have fixed the issue of scrolling down the notification panel and few issues related to the notification so as i told you guys that we'll get to know once we start using the device so stay tuned for the in-depth review let's see if oneplus have fixed some issues which were present on beta 2 and one of them was related to not able to log into theme store and also along with the theme store i mentioned in my review video that we were not able to log in into red cable club 2 and i'll try to log in here and we have the same story i'm not sure this is an issue with my particular device so i'll keep you guys posted in the review video i have to perform the factory reset but you guys can let me know in the comment section below whether you guys are able to log in into your red cable club or not if you are already logged in make sure to log out and then log in so there's no point checking the theme store because i think here also we won't be able to log in let me see i'll tap on sign in and yes guys it's the same story on my device i think i have to perform a factory reset and guys if you want better performance on your device after coming from oxygen os 12 make sure to perform a factory reset from recovery or else you might encounter a lot of issues but on this build overall animations are good enough and one thing which i have noticed and few users have also reported now we don't get that blurish background in the app drawer so let me show you an example on my oneplus 9rt so if you see here we have little bit of transparency in the app drawer on beta 2 which is running on my oneplus 9rt but here that transparency is missing now we have the solid background now so you guys must be aware about this stuff like contextual info which can give you a lot of details about deliveries 
your rides and many more but here in india i have tested out this feature doesn't support applications like zomato or swiggy so kind of not useful for me because i mostly use those two applications then you have the omoji feature flexi window you guys must be aware still as i told you guys there are videos given in the description below make sure to watch them you'll get to know each and every feature which is present on oxygen os 13 and most users have been asking us about the 5g connectivity so 5g connectivity you guys will see on stable builds of oxygen os 13 it was already there on beta builds so nothing to worry about 5g connectivity if the service is present in your area you'll obviously get the network of 5g now let's also talk about the gaming part whether we get to see 90 fps or not so talking about battle mobile india if you go to settings graphic settings as you can see here i have set combat and lobby graphic settings to smooth and 90 fps let's trigger the game space application and if you guys have observed initially it gave us 90 fps and later back to 60 fps so there is no 90 fps support in games like battlegrounds mobile india and right now there is no possible way to enable 90 fps so you have to manage with whatever we are getting right now you can see it's again back to 90 fps i'm not sure whether it's going to stick to 90 fps because it keeps switching between 90 and 60 but you guys will get more details in the review video where we do gaming test so guys there's nothing much to showcase in this video because very minimal change logs were there over the beta 2 update if you have any kind of questions related to this build you guys can let me know in the comment section below as of now only this much in this video i hope you guys gonna like the video if you like the video then do give me a thumbs up and also if you're new to our channel then do not forget to subscribe the channel thanks for watching have a great day Thank you.